Hello, welcome back to Libra Lunis. It's so nice to meet you here and thank you. Today we are reading Music from Mr. Moon, written by Philip C. Steed, illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. When Harriet Henry came down for dinner, her parents said, Someday you will play your cello in a big orchestra. Won't that make you happy? Harriet imagined crowds of people all dressed up like penguins. Her hands became sweaty and her face became hot. No, she said with a sigh. I don't think that will make me happy. Harriet pushed her green beans into a neat row. Then she closed her eyes and changed her parents into penguins. May I excuse myself, please? She asked. Harriet Henry did not want to play in a big orchestra. Harriet Henry wanted to play her cello alone. When Harriet was alone, she would change her room into a little house with a kitchen table, a chair, a teacup, and a fireplace. And when everything was quiet and still, she would draw her bow and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harriet peeked her head out the window. Please go away, she said. I want to be alone. Then she sat back down, drew her bow, and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harriet took her teacup and threw it out the window. Ooh, asked the owl, and he flew off into the night. Harriet did not want to hurt the owl. I just want to be alone, she thought. Then she sat back down and tried to change her regret into a new teacup. But before she could, Harriet's little house filled up with smoke. Quickly, she made herself a bucket, filled it with water, and tossed it into the fire. Then she ran outside. Hello, came a voice. Harriet looked up and saw the moon. Why are you sitting in my chimney, she asked. Because I'm stuck, said the moon. Well, why are you stuck, asked Harriet. Because, said the moon, you hit me with your teacup and I fell from the sky. Harriet felt horrible. I am really sorry, she said. Then she made herself a ladder, climbed up to the roof and pulled the moon out of her chimney. My name is Harriet Henry, said Harriet, but you can call me Hank. I am the moon, said the moon, but you can call me Mr. Moon. Do you get chilly up in the sky? asked Hank. Yes, said Mr. Moon, I do. When I am chilly, said Hank, I wear a warm hat. Then Hank made herself a wet. Then Hank made herself a wagon. She pulled Mr. Moon through the neighborhood, past the lake and the broken street lamp, all the way to the hat maker. Mr. Moon would like a hat, said Hank. She pulled a dollar from her pocket. <clears throat> Mr. Moon may have any hat he likes, said the hat maker. Then he gave Hank back her dollar because once when he was very young, he had fallen in love on a moonlit night. Mr. Moon chose the striped hat. Do you like being the moon? asked Hank. Yes, said Mr. Moon, but sometimes I wish I wasn't the moon. Hank stopped at the broken street lamp. 
What would you do if you weren't the moon, she asked. Mr. Moon glowed brightly on the sidewalk below. I would row in a boat, he answered with a soft smile. Every night I watch my reflection float from one side of the lake to the other. Just once I'd like to float on the lake, for real. Hank pulled Mr. Moon to the edge of the lake. You wait here, she said. Then she went to knock on the fisherman's door. Mr. Moon would like to row in a boat, Hank, said Hank. She pulled a dollar from her pocket. Mr. Moon may borrow any boat he likes, said the fisherman. Then he gave Hank back her dollar because once, long ago, the moon had chased away a storm and guided him safely home. Mr. Moon chose the red boat. Hank and Mr. Moon rode to the middle of the lake. This is nice, said Hank. Yes, this is nice, said Mr. Moon. I like the sound of water when it drips from the oars. I like the sound of the buoy bell coming from far away. I think you are lucky, said Mr. Moon. There is so much music down below. It is so quiet up in the sky. <clears throat> I think it's time for me to go back home, said Mr. Moon. He cast his cool light across the water without sound. Will you come to play your cello for me? Hank's hands became sweaty and her face became hot. I do not like to play for crowds, she said, but maybe if you close your eyes and promise not to cheer. I promise, said Mr. Moon. Hank rode back to the dock. You wait here, she said. Then she pulled her wagon back to the fisherman. May I borrow your net, please? And she pulled her wagon back to the hat maker. May I have another hat, please? Last, she pulled her wagon back to the owl. I'm sorry that I scared you before. Will you help me to return, Mr. Moon? I will, said the owl, because every owl is a friend of the moon. Then the owl collected every owl. Hank collected her cello. And together they collected Mr. Moon and brought him back home. Thank you, Owl, said Hank. And then, when everything was quiet and still, Hank drew her bow and played her music for no one but Mr. Moon. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that story, and it's been such a pleasure spending time with you. And we hope to see you again on Libro Lunes. Gracias, and familiaridad chum.